So there's this episode of Roseanne where Roseanne is having a major disagreement with a new foreman at the factory she works in. I think it's the last episode of the first season. And in the middle of this episode, really the centerpiece of this episode, is a speech that the foreman gives to Roseanne. What he says to her, and I'm going to paraphrase it, is that... Well, he says, Rosie, there's a thing that you don't understand. When you look at me, you see a human being. You see a person who can be reasoned with, who can be convinced by good faith or good reason. I look at you, and I see a beast of burden, whom it is my responsibility to beat until you fear the sight of my hand. And that is the difference between the two of us. I think about that. I think about that a lot. So, there are a lot of ideas going around about how to deal with Mitch McConnell. There are even some images involving cakes giving specific advice. I'm not going to tell you not to do those things, uh, mostly because I believe in diversity of tactics uh, most of the time. But I am going to tell you that I believe that those things will be ineffective, mostly because Mitch McConnell does not see you as a human being. At best, he sees you as a beast of burden, whom it is his responsibility to beat until you fear the sight of his hand. That is not a person who can be reasoned with. That is not a person who can be convinced by good faith or by reason. And... I don't know. I've been thinking about it a lot, and I think I might have an idea for what to do. Instead of beating our heads against a brick wall, why don't we try going around him? Why don't we try going after the Republican Party directly? So there's a thing that most people don't understand about both parties. The Democrats and the Republicans are not just random people who are brought together by common goals and means. They are incorporated entities. There are people who decide who gets to run as a Republican and who gets to run as a Democrat. And those organizations have names. They are called the Republican National Committee and the Democratic National Committee. Moreover, every state has their own version of this organization, usually something along the lines of a state blank Republican and or Democratic Central Committee. That includes the great state of Kentucky, whose organization is simply named the Republican Party of Kentucky. I did some digging. Not a lot of digging, I literally just googled the name. And they have a website. It is rpk.org. Just that. And on this website, they have quite a bit of information. For example, they have an address that you can go to, or send letters to, in order to contact them. That address is 105 West 3rd Street, Frankfort, Kentucky, 40601. They have a phone number that you can contact them with. That phone number is 502-875-5130. This is on their website. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. But more important than that, and a little bit hidden, I had to dig a bit to find this, they have a list of names. A list of names of people who make up the Republican Party of Kentucky Central Planning Committee. That is the list of people who decide who is and is not a Republican in the state of Kentucky. These people include J. McClowey Brown, he goes by Mac, so Mac Brown, Deanna Brangers, the secretary, Karen Kelly, the youth chair, Adam Haley, and the two members of the National Committee, Mike Duncan and K.B. Crosby. I'm not going to list all of their names because there are 25 or 30 people, and we are really only interested in the people who are in charge of those 20 or 30 people. So, here's the plan. We call that number that I gave before, and we demand to talk to one or more of those people. 
and when we talk to those people, or whether or not we talk to them, they might not be available, we demand that they do one of two things. Either they immediately recall Senator McConnell, or they unendorse him from the Republican Party. Now, there's a trick to this, and that trick is that there is no way, there is no method to recall a senator from the federal government, at least not in the state of Kentucky. You can recall state senators in Kentucky, but not the federal senators. So, when you say that you either want McConnell recalled or unendorsed, they're going to tell you that they can't recall him because there aren't any rules. And that leaves them with one option, unendorsement. And if the Republican Party isn't endorsing Mitch McConnell, then Mitch McConnell is not a Republican. Now, on paper, that doesn't mean anything special. Mitch McConnell was re-elected in the state of Kentucky back in November, so he's going to be in the Senate for six more years unless he resigns or uh, he dies of old age. He's very old. But, on paper, but, in practice, it does have a number of effects that are very detrimental to the Republican Party. First off, if McConnell isn't a Republican, he might not be able to be the head of the Republican Party in the Senate. That means that he wouldn't be able to be elected as the Republican Party Speaker, which would be the House Speaker, which is his position currently, or the Minority Leader, if the Republicans aren't able to hold on to the majority in the Senate, something that's very tenuous right now. More importantly, it deprives McConnell of his most valuable asset, fundraising. One of the reasons that Mitch McConnell is so important to the Republicans is because he is one of the best fundraisers that the Republicans have ever had. If he is not a Republican, then he cannot fundraise for the Republican Party, at least not in the same capacity that he used to. And that is going to do a lot of harm to them, uh, politically, not like physical harm. Now, there are other things that I wish I could tell you to do. For example, I wish I could tell you to tell Mac Brown that you are going to primary or recall the person who represents him in the Kentucky Senate. But as best as I can tell, none of these people are represented by Republicans. Not even Mitch McConnell. This is the insidious thing about both the DNC and the RNC. The people who operate them are not elected officials. Oftentimes they are former elected officials, but when they are in the RNC, when they are in the corporate entity, they are not elected officials. And that means that we cannot control them. That means we cannot control who is in charge of them. But we can find these people and we can put pressure on them. And right now, that's the best solution that I have for this. There's another thing that I feel like I have to impress. Um, the idea of having Mitch McConnell unendorsed or recalled, even, uh, that is so unlikely as to be an unrealistic expectation. Mitch McConnell is very important to the Republican Party, both federally and in the state of Kentucky. So that's not actually what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do by doing this, by going through this plan that I proposed, is put enough pressure on the Republican Party in Kentucky that Mitch McConnell has to full-on withdraw from D.C. and go put his house in order. What's going on is much more complicated than people understand, at least the people whom I've talked to and the impressions that they've gotten from the news. There is a bill, the Defense Authorization Act, that is being held up in Congress. The stimulus bill isn't being held up, not exactly. What is happening there is that Mitch McConnell is refusing to even put it up for a vote, something that he does. And the defense authorization bill is being filibustered, being blocked, until McConnell chooses to have a vote on the amendum to the stimulus bill. So we want McConnell to want to get home as fast as possible. And the fastest way for McConnell to get home is to allow a vote on the stimulus amendment so that you can have a vote on the defense authorization bill. That's the goal. That's how we get this done. You put a lot of pressure on McConnell. And people can't put pressure on McConnell. Because McConnell does not care about people. He sees us as beasts of burden. So we go around him. And we go to the people that he cannot ignore. The Republican Party. That's the plan. Call the number. 502-875-5130. Asked to talk to Mac Brown, Deanna Brangers, Karen Kelly, Adam Haley, Mike Duncan, or KB Crosby, and demand that they either unendorse as a Republican Mitch McConnell or recall him from the Senate. 
If we put enough pressure on the leaders of the Republican Party, Mitch McConnell cannot ignore it. Oh, and if you live in Frankfort, Kentucky, or are around the Frankfort, Kentucky area, go to 105 West 3rd Street. Beat on their door until they let you in, and make those same demands. Normally, I would only tell you to do these things if you live in the state of Kentucky, but right now, I don't care. This is a national crisis we are facing, and it requires national action. Light up all of their phone lines. Beat down their doors. Give them hell. Ah. That's all I have to say about that. I'm all straight out. Uh, this isn't for new viewers. This isn't my regular set. Uh, for returning viewers, I'm sorry there hasn't been a video in a while. Um, our furnace died in the middle of a sprint of uh, 23 degree weather, and me and my uncle have been tearing out and putting back in a new furnace. That's This is the old furnace. Uh, my bed and my desk are covered in tools and scrap metal. My regular links are in the description. That's my Ko-Fi. If you found this entertaining or informative enough to send me money, although I will insist that you don't send me money from your stimulus check. You need that money, and I'm going to get one anyway, so it's fine. You use that for yourself. There's my Curious Cat, which I don't have access to because I still don't have a working computer. There's my Twitter, where I actually spent all day yesterday, well, I wasn't putting the furnace back in, um, posting the same thing, more or less, that I've been explaining here. That's actually wanted to make a, why I wanted to make a video about it. I'm also going to write and pin a comment in this video that will include um, some of the websites that you can go to, including the RPK, that's the Republican Party of Kentucky website, and the Republican Party of Kentucky uh, Twitter account and Facebook account. So you can go and pester them there. I think my next video is going to be about Mitch McConnell too, but it's going to be about what he does that makes him so powerful and moreover, what he actually does. Because a lot of people misunderstand that, kind of. <sighs> yeah. I'll do that as fast as I can, but until we get there, take care of yourselves, alright? <laughs>